guys, and welcome back to another episode of Linux You Gotta Know. Today, we are going to be using the program DD to clone a Windows installation from one drive to another. DD is a program that runs on Linux, so we will be using a live Linux USB. What we're going to need today is a USB drive of 2GB in size or larger, your old drive, and your new drive. So with that out of the way, let's jump onto the PC and show you how it's done. For today's video, I will be using virtual devices because I don't have a screencast. However, for you, the process will be pretty much the same. First, we want to burn on a live Linux install onto a USB flash drive. For this purpose, I like to use Lubuntu because the image file is relatively small and because Lubuntu can run on pretty much any PC from the late 90s and onward. So first, we're going to download Lubuntu from its official website. I will put the link up right now and in the description below the video. After we download the ISO file, we will burn it to a USB flash drive using a program such as Rufus. I'm also going to put a link to the program up and in the description. Using Rufus, we will select our ISO file, our USB drive, and using the default settings, we're going to burn our Lubuntu file to our USB. After that's done, we will boot into Lubuntu and continue from there. So once we boot into our USB drive, we're going to get into the desktop by selecting our language, hitting enter, and then hitting start Lubuntu, uh, or hitting enter again on start Lubuntu. So this is going to load our desktop, and once we get into the desktop, we're going to open a terminal. So now that we're in the desktop, we can open a terminal by holding Control alt t With that open, first we're going to check which drive is which, because we don't want to put the wrong drive into DD and end up destroying our data. So to see all of our drives, we're going to use the command fdisk-l, but with sudo privileges. So you're going to type in sudo fdisk-l. And this will show which drive is your Windows drive and which drive is empty. So in this case, our Windows install is on slash dev slash sda, and our empty drive is slash dev slash sdb. So we're going to put these into dd. And the command is pretty simple because dd basically takes two parameters, uh, basic parameters, if and of, which stand for input file and output file, respectively. So we will take our Windows drive, which in this case is slash dev slash sda, and put that into our if. So dd if equals slash dev slash sda. And of, uh, we're going to put uh, slash dev slash sdb, which is our empty drive, into of. So of equals slash dev slash sdb. So by default, dd will not show anything that's happening unless it errors. So if you want to make sure that things are happening, use status equals to progress equals to progress to make sure that things are going on. And we're going to have to run this command with sudo privileges. So sudo dd if equals to your Windows drive, of equals to your empty drive, and status equals to progress. Now, make sure that you use the values that you got from running fdisk-l on your computer to run dd, because you may not get the same values that I am getting, so be sure to double check to avoid losing your data. And now we should be able to run the command. So, uh, as we can see, it is copying our data from our Windows drive to our Linux drive. It will take a while, so be patient. Do not close out of this terminal, even if it seems like nothing is happening, because trust me, it will eventually finish. Now, you don't have to do anything, so this at this point you can leave your computer and do something else while this finishes. And we're done copying all 50 gigabytes of our old hard drive onto our new hard drive. Now we can restart our computer and boot into our new drive and see that everything is the same that it was on the old drive. That's going to be it for this video. If you learned something, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's it, and I will see you in the next episode of Tiger Steve Tech.